himself. Using a rare legal tactic, Grabois is deputized to prosecute in Pennsylvania. That's kind of a crazy idea, wasn't it? Well, I wouldn't call it crazy. Well, but it was a little it, unusual. It worked. You're starting to post this case and this stone. And it works because the straight-laced federal prosecutor teams up with those free-spirited rainbows. Your goal. <laughs> Your most unlikely ally. Yes, but a good one. They were wonderful. The first time you saw Stuart Grappois, what was the uh, feeling? I thought he was straight up. I thought he was okay people. Now, now trust in Grappois, the rainbows take a leap of faith, convincing the parents of one of the molested boys that their son should come to court to testify against rainbows. He was down in something, but he had no right. You know, he took the innocence away from, from, he didn't have that right. The family involved may not be a student tired kind of folk, okay, but this is something that Stuart and I agreed on. It don't matter. No one has the right to exploit somebody else's children. We're going to see a rainbow today, everyone. Or at least a silver wine to an otherwise dark cry. In this courthouse, on the record, a 12-year-old